Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm in the countryside in Hoki Town. This is in Daisen Machi and, uh, well not Daisen Machi, in Totori Prefecture. And I thought I would just spend a couple of minutes with you. Just show you the beautiful countryside here. Check it out. Do you see this um, yellow golden looking crop? This is rice and it's just about to be harvested. Most of the areas around here have already started to harvest the rice and up above there on the top of your screen started to harvest the rice and up above there on the top of your screen is Mount Daisen. Daisen is the is the Mount Fuji of the West they call it and right now now the uh, summit is engulfed in clouds but uh, every now and then the clouds will blow away and you'll have a beautiful view of Mount Daisen. But you can see here we're filming um, over here on the left side there's the cameraman I saw the audio guy he's taking some clean audio of a certain area and a certain area and then there's the director so we're filming off of the street here and I thought I'd just take a couple of minutes and show you around so while they go a lot of the time yeah, this is an NHK shoot. A lot of the time when I'm, I'm out here um, shooting for, for this show, most of the time I'm just kind of just sitting around. I'm either editing video inside of the, we have a, a special truck that we go around on locations with. Either I'm editing video in there, or I'm making phone calls or setting up my own shoots. Um, but we flew here at, uh, I, I woke up at 4.30 in the morning and I, I went to the airport by taxi. We flew on a, a six o'clock flight to Yonago and then right away we came out to here and just a couple of hours later we have sites like this which is just incredible that's the uh, rice hanging on um, I guess it looks like bamboo poles drying for um, for the machine that that separates that from the stalk that's rice down there that's just uh, harvested and drying I think I think I can take you down there for a closer look if you guys want Let me take you down there. So this is Hoki Town in Totori Prefecture. Just kind of a quick look at the countryside here. Hey guys. It's really peaceful, really beautiful, and I'm kind of digging you know, the sound of the crickets, just that light sound of nature. All right, I'm gonna try to take you down there for a little bit, just to show you the, last time I went out down into the fields, there was a big snake there. So I'm gonna hopefully not discover the snake. All right, check it out. So you can see kind of I'm just gonna go into the field here a little bit. You can see the rice on it, do you see that? So that's rice that's drying after being harvested. The golden fields that I just showed you. And um, after, after it's dried, the farmer will take it down to a machine that separates it from the, from the stalk there. And this is the, this is the local way that they, they've been doing rice for for a, a long time, putting it on poles like this. And you'll see this outside of Tokyo. You can't see this in the city of Tokyo, but unless you go to Okutama or out to the mountains, but um, a, lot of, a lot of the countryside in Japan, you just see at this time of year, lots and lots of golden fields like this. All right, I gotta hike up this mountain here. Okay. Lots and lots of golden fields. And if you're in Niigata or Akita, it looks like what would be like Nebraska of Japan. Just gold all the way to the, from the sea of Japan all the way to the mountains. And that's sort of the site that we have here. Sorry, check it out guys. Just this view right off the side of the road. Nothing particularly special about this road. But we drove down this street 
And then on the right side, you could see. This. So we stopped to get a, a picture of it. There's the road sign. If you guys are digging these like spontaneous videos from the road, from the uh, location shoots, hit that like button and I'll know that you guys like it. So I'll, I'll try to do some more of these while I'm here in Totori Prefecture. Now I'm gonna be filming here for a few days almost a week. I'll be here till the 22nd or the 23rd and then fly back to Tokyo. But the purpose of this is, is watch the NHK show. I can't really, I don't want to give it away, but it's going to be a pretty cool show. But the reason I wanted to go live is just to give you a little taste of what it's like away from Tokyo. And you can kind of feel it in a live stream. If I edit this, I have to put music in, but if I stop talking, you can hear the nature. They're gonna be filming this direction. I saw a snake last year. I was filming uh, the ending to the Wagyu episode. And uh, when I was filming the ending to the Wagyu episode, um, at that place, a big, massive snake had just, I mean, it, it, I, think, I think it was like a python. Like, it looked like, I don't know what it was. It was just huge. And uh, I freaked out and I ran to the car and I never went back there again. <laughs> All right, this is kind of a cool sight here. All right, see, I had to hurry up to, because they're filming this direction now. Uh, see, the problem with the blue car is that it's a blue car and it just sticks out. So uh, we called the car to move because we don't want a blue car in the background. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> There's a little commercial for you. Ah, oh, that's a beautiful sight. Look at all the layers of the mountains. Can you guys see this in HD? I hope it's a I hope it's a good resolution, 720p or something, but I can see like five or six layers of mountains as it goes deeper and deeper into Totori Prefecture. It's really beautiful. I didn't really have much to say in my in the scene that I took right before. They just took me walking. I was just walking down this road and they'll have a narrator just narrate over it for me. So the great thing about working with NHK is that you don't have to really, you have a team of people and the team will usually take care of most of the stuff for you. Um, you just, I'm just here to report. Like I researched some of this stuff and uh, learned about it and um, I have to get ready to ask people questions and get answers and make it interesting. This is interesting by the way. What the, what's this? It's like a little log cabin. Pian, Pian Piano. That's the name of it. Pian Piano. A log cabin look to it. But we're right off of the mountain. And in the winter, it says here that you, you, you need snow tires to go up there. Check it out. Daburu Taya. Chains. Daburu Chain. So if you have two tires, you need two chains. That's what the... 
Science says, I flew my drone here in a drone cast, I believe, a year ago. So if you want to see that, you can check it out from the sky, but it's, it really is beautiful. It's just nice, I, you know, the best feeling is to be out of Tokyo and to be in a place like this just for a little bit. Now you can, t now you can see why you don't want the blue truck in the background. So this is uh, Hoki Town in Totori Prefecture. And I'll be in Hoki, which is right off of Mount Daisen, which is right there. And I'll be uh, here for a few days. I could do a meetup, but I don't think there's any people who watch the show in, in Totori right now. Um, we have a lot of dead time. All right, these, they're moving. They're moving to another spot. That means every time they move, I know that I'm gonna have more and more time to be here. But it's neat, whenever you have a person in the foreground of the shot, it gives you a, like an image of how, how big the world is, you know? See those little people walking by. You know, Wang Yao Tan writes in here, um, uh, do I work part-time for NHK? You know, if they, I, I used to do reports for them almost like, like two a month for, for some of the shows 10 years ago. But I, I don't really do a lot of NHK these days. I don't do a lot of stuff for television because I'm working on only in Japan, but we scheduled this like six months ago. I'm trying to see if there's anything I want to drink. Nothing. I might, I could go for coffee though. I could go for coffee though. Whoa, it's between Emerald Mountain Blend and Emerald Mountain Blend, but it's got 100% gyunyu. All right, let's try that. And this one is hot because we have Emerald Mountain. It's not an Emerald Mountain, but we have an Emerald color. So the coffee can goes sort of with this motif. So I'm gonna try to get out of the shot. I wanna make sure that I'm not in the shot. So I'm gonna walk this way. I, I've known this director for a long time, so I can kind of think the way she thinks, so I know what she's going after here. So I better get out of the shot. The great thing when you work with the same team over and over again, you can kind of get an idea of, of what's going through that other person's mind, another creator. And uh, that's one of the reasons why I, um, when a team gets put together, sometimes they'll pick me to be a reporter because I, I kind of get an idea of the sense of their creative creativity and so it makes it easier to work together, make a good final product for everybody. But it is really beautiful to be out here and away from Tokyo just for a little bit uh, and then go back to the city. These are rice fields. Scorpion Core Universe writes in, is that a rice field? Yeah. This is a rice paddy that is just about being ready for harvest. I showed you down there. If you look just beyond, you can see where those have been harvested by the farmer. In fact, the farmer is starting to go down there right now to check the harvested rice. And the golden, when it gets to this color, it's time for them to harvest or shikaku. And they just, they, they cut it down probably by machine. I don't know if they do it by hand. They might, be, might, they might still do it by hand here. And then they, they um, let it out to dry. But yeah, this is prime for being harvested. That's a lot of rice. That can feed a lot of people. Just these two. I think it, it's owned by one family. But um, the rice fields here, the harvest is now, actually. Most of the places have actually harvested the rice already. So the reason why we stopped here is this is one of the few places that haven't harvested yet. We were driving around the area looking for places that haven't harvested that you can get that feeling of autumn, that gold color. And this is one of the only places available. And I think that they've just asked the, the farmer to film them, to film her, which would be pretty cool.
and that means maybe I should I should go down there and just check it out and see if they want me to go down there and talk to her. Hey Kenneth, thank you, jo Kenneth Johnson. This drink is sponsored by Kenneth Johnson. Thank you, buddy. Oh, that's good. That's real good. I had, if you check out the Instagram feed, I had a um, Wagyu ramen. And this morning I got a chance to talk with a rancher who, uh, who owns about 200 Wagyu. And I got to massage the Wagyu again and, and got a chance to, to play with the little ones and saw one that was born 48 hours ago. I saw a brand new Wagyu enter the world. Um, that was really nice. So I put all that on Instagram. So if you want to check it out, look at the Instagram stories. And I'll be putting up uh, stories about that all day. There's that blue van on the move again. That's Mount Dyson for those of us, those of you who are joining us right now. Wow, they have rice. Put this in the, put this away. She's checking the rice to see if it's dried. That's what they were doing. So she's got um, little pieces of the rice from here that she took to sample. This is the rice that's hanging to dry and to see if it's ready uh, for them just to put it in the back of the truck and, and make rice. I guess that's what's for dinner, rice. <laughs> because rice is nice. very quiet and I don't know like normally tourists don't come out here that's what makes this kind of special uh, Jaithra writes in Shinkansen versus flights always wanted to ask this Wow Shinkansen versus flights I'm gonna have to say I'm gonna have to say um, flights for me, because I live here. But if you got a JR Rail Pass, if you have a JR Rail Pass, go with the Shinkansen, because it's just cheaper. If you're like me and you live here, flights. Because it just makes sense. To take the Shinkansen to Kagoshima takes like 11, like a, it takes a really long time. I think it's like 10 hours from Tokyo, but a flight is 90 minutes. And it's, it's like 7,000 yen, right? So, and the Shinkansen is like $400. So it, make, it doesn't make any sense to take the, the Shinkansen um, unless you have a rail pass. But if you have, a, if you don't have a lot of time, take the just fly, because there's so many budget carriers that weren't around, that weren't around um, like two weeks ago that are here now. I'm supposed to be on break until three, but that's okay if they need me. Um, tell us about Peter Barakan and his shirts. <laughs> I don't know. I did. I I, I talked. All right, when I went to Ogasawara, I I talked. When I went to Ogasawara, um, I talked to um, Peter Barakan had made a show in Ogasawara like three months before me. I want to make sure I get out of the way. Okay. He made a show three months before me, and uh, we were talking about Peter Barakan um, with. The guy was interviewing there about the history of Ogasawara. By the way, that episode is coming like like right away. It's, it's I just didn't have time to upload it before I left here. And we, Peter Barakan is such a gentleman. I mean, like, the people of the island of Ogasawara could not say enough about how kind and nice he was. But they didn't mention his shirts. They didn't mention his shirts. Maybe they should have. I whispered because.
Alan will be happy to know. Alan from My Life Japan will be happy to know that they're, they're still filming with a, a C-100. Yeah, you can see the audio, audio guys recording audio, but he does it away from the camera. So you, you don't get, um, so you get cleaner audio. The C-100 still is a good camera if you have the dual, the, um, dual focus on. It's HD, so that means that this episode's gonna be in HD. I love road signs. Whenever you go on a trip or you travel, make sure you, you take pictures of the road signs. Road signs are, are good to have in a photo album to give you up give you the the placement of where you are mount dyson is just up there i like how they put it in in uh, korean too look at that and there's a golf course hotel lots of stuff around here dyson hills i guess that's like omotesando hills but at dyson not sure i'm trying to look back at all the questions here um, I don't know if it's Koshikari. Um, each region of Japan has kind of a specialty. Koshikari is the most popular rice. It's, it, I think it's just because it's the most delicious rice. There's a car coming. It's one of the most delicious rices to eat, so it's the most popular um, variety of rice. But I don't, I don't know if it's Koshikari. It's hard to tell unless you're a farmer. Usually it's written on the bag, that's how you know. Oh, okay, all right, now I know what he did here. He's, so this sign that they put up there, it's telling you um, that the road is closed, I guess, at this time, and they're gonna be doing a, um, a walk, and I did this walk last year to see the autumn colors of, uh, of Dyson. So in, in about a month from now, all the colors are gonna change to autumn colors, like red and orange, just like a fireworks show up on the mountain there. You can see right now it's still green, but when it turns color, uh, they, they close down the roads and you can walk. No cars going through there, just to, through all of the canopy, the tunnels of, of colorful leaves. It's really beautiful. And I did this last year, so if you take a look at the live stream, you can see what I'm talking about. But that sign is saying when the festival is. It's between 7 a.m. and 2 p.m. The road is closed. And they also use the ski lift. They have ski lifts. Before the snow falls, you can ride on the ski lift and it'll take you through all of the trees and you can, and while, while the ski lift is moving, you can take pictures uh, going up the mountain and see all the colors of the, of the autumn uh, on the mountainside, which is really a good use of the ski ramp. And it also brings in more tourists. Also brings in more tourists. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Matthew Burns. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. So here's, I'm just gonna pan. Yeah, John is here. Lin Bloom San. Yeah, thank you. And if you're here in Totori, come and say hi. <laughs> That'd be pretty weird. This is a field that's already been harvested. You can see the difference there. Now, in, in June, during the rainy season, these are flooded. June, July, August, it's usually flooded. And then around September, it starts to dry up naturally. And then October, it's harvested. And now there's nothing here. Although the, the one under behind it probably belongs to another family that hasn't done it yet. Yeah, Tim, Tim that's right. Tim has it right. All right, while, while we're waiting, let, let me just take you down and we can see, oh, those are the same farmers. They've moved on. So I guess they own all of these. I guess they own all of the uh, fields here. They're checking out the rice of the, uh, the rice that's drying there. Oh, listen to the field. Hebi ga iru, kono area. <laughs> he said that there's probably snakes here. <laughs> oh no. But I like the sound. I've come here just to get the sound. Listen to it. You can hear it.
he said he said there's probably somewhere here i i don't know if there actually is a snake but these are like a hundred crickets maybe more i don't know it's a nice sound it's a nice sound i, I would love to live out here snakes in on a field that could be a new movie from nads mcgee I'm not looking behind me, PMX. It's such a beautiful place, Totori Prefecture. And I, I think if you want to get off of the beaten path, I made, I'm not doing a meetup with a snake, but you, get, you, gotta be the, you gotta be reading the live chats to actually experience what I just saw. But I, I, last time I was here, I saw a massive snake and it scared me. I, I decided I, I was never gonna go into a field, but here I am. So, um, I did, a, I did an episode called the J Japan Night Train Experience about um, the Sunrise Izumo about three years ago, four years ago. I think it has like six million views on it. It's done very well. And that night train will take you here to this area, uh, to Yonago, Matsue, and Izumo Taisha. Izumo Taisha is one of the most significant uh, shrines in Japan, believe it or not. Um, but the train will take you there. And this area of Japan on the Sea of Japan side is so beautiful. It's so beautiful. And what makes what makes this really special, uh, Daisen, is you see you can see the outline of Daisen, which they call the Mount Fuji of the West. And right near Daisen, just I think it's like five kilometers or less from Daisen, you go all the way, all the way to the Sea of Japan. And just five kilometers between the Sea of Japan and Mount Daisen. And that's what makes this really unique. It's just kind of this, this valley that's nestled and it makes it perfect for things like Wagyu. Because Totori won the Wagyu Olympics uh, last year. And one of the reasons why is they just have a really incredible uh, place here. Hey, Brock Kenneth, thank you, whoa. <laughs> thank you very much, Brock. And Matthew Burns, best spot to see a metal band. Not here, I, let, from process of elimination, Iko? Oh, one take is sort of okay. All right. All right, one take. Okay. I've been I've been called to do one take. So hey, Les. All right, so I'm gonna put this on a tripod and do the scene live. Okay. All right, so you guys can see what I'm doing. John Hitsio? Hitsio? Heavy Gario? Heavy Gario? A Kochi? A Koko Kara? Oh wow! So so go go film here. Can you see that? <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, go film there. Okay, all right. I'm gonna go film there. Hi. Right.
おめえもう一回ステイキュお願いしますもうちょいゆっくり雨降ってきた皆さんジョンジョンの忘れてっちゃうんでしょこれ<笑>これ<笑>ここにお地蔵さんのように置いていくんです謎のスマホが謎のスマホが<笑>じゃああとは大戦法いいありがとうはいよ<笑><笑><笑>はい。It's a gift. I appreciate it. I, it, it. That's what it is. It's what it is. It's what it is. All right, guys. Thanks so much for, for watching this for 30 minutes. It's kind of a, a、uh, scene that you're not going to see anywhere else except on a live stream. Could have been boring as heck, but hey, you know what? How often are you going to come to the roadside in the countryside of Totori and see this? Right? I'll see you again. Thank you so much for hitting the like but button. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye bye from Hokie Town and Mount Dyson, the Mount Fuji of the West. <laughs>